Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, and you're watching Chips Challenge 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold, and today we're starting off with some introductory text. Vladimir says, It may not be so clear who is playing sometimes. Are you Chip, or are you Melinda? Time for another lesson. Well, I'd much rather start with the lesson than end the day with one, so... And these levels get really long, so I'm glad we're getting this out of the way right out front. Starting with Lesson 4... Uh, we are going to separate things by bathroom, it would seem. Lesson four, the transmogrifier changed Chip into Melinda and Melinda into Chip. You can also change other things like blocks and monsters. Well, something is off making noise in the background. Melinda can't cross this sign. You know what? She can do whatever she wants. This is a free country. Chip can't cross this sign. So if you thought things were broken up by gender before, now you're really in for a treat. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, and now we're Melinda. Melinda can't cross the gravel, so we need to change back into Chip. Well, it was fun being Melinda for all of 15 seconds. So let's go through here. These walkers turn in a random direction when they hit something. They don't... They look... Okay, they look weird, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I should be dead to rights right now. Holy cow. What a... Okay. These blocks can only be pushed in the direction with the orange triangles. And I'm going to be turning this down in my ears. Who is making all that racket? Over in a place I cannot see. When you push these blocks into water, they turn into floor. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get that done. Okay, so these blocks can only be pushed up and down. Let's go ahead and uh, so up and down. So this probably needs to go in the water. This over here. Uh this over here and we've got this one right here oh no i didn't do this right i don't think well this one can go over here and that's good and this one can go and now we can push it over here and turn this one on okay and now i think we will need to okay yeah okay i'm not stuck okay because i can now use it to go here and we have an omnidirectional one that can be used for any direction of pushing that we so choose. Very good. You've done it once again, Chip. The blue button changes the direction of all blue tanks. Describing them as blue tanks would seem to imply that there are tanks of different colors. So let's uh, let's keep that in mind, Shell. Oh, no. We, we wanted that one. Be that. Oh, okay. There we go. Very good. And, oh, that that was nice and intuitive. Nicely set up there. All right. Let's see if we can shut. Okay, are we in a place where we can shut these people up now? This red button controls a clone machine. Make enough ship clones to push the green toggle button. All right, let's just, let's just keep pumping them out. The law of the conservation of matter. What is that? Ah, here we go. Now we'll probably finally stop making some noise here. You need to shut down this clone machine to get to the chip. Use the block to stop the ball. Okay, well, there was peace and quiet, but then, you know, I once again made a mess of things by... Okay, you know what? Let's see if we can get them. Let's see if we can shut them. You know what? Actually... We wouldn't want to make so many that they stop moving altogether, so let's let's just live with the noise, I suppose. The red button controls a clone machine hidden under this dirt block. Okay. Oh, alright, there we go. So I presume we're going to have to be making enough blocks to make a bridge. Uh-oh, I'm getting on the rocks PTSD here. And maybe, okay, it looks like the... Looks like it can be done in any direction probably just set to a specific direction for them to come out that may come into play later for strategy the yellow tanks will move one square in the same direction you are moving when you step on the yellow button okay so yes there are differently colored tanks so it looks like we're going to have to use this tank okay we're gonna make we're gonna make water with this tank very nice okay now get out of my way yellow tank i've got chips to be collecting here go all right next up this random force force sends you in a different direction each time you step on it 
so, all right. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna turn, the, okay, someone suggested turning off this animation. Let's see if we can't just do that right now. Um, it is totally grayed out on my screen, so I guess we're just gonna have to live with it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Why is it why is it grayed out for me? Do I not have a do I not have an updated version of Chips Challenge or something? That's uh maybe I'll need to maybe I'll need to look into that. Okay, well let's just uh oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh. Why why are you doing this to me, game? Send me out to the left and uh, when I when I do go out to the left, do not punish me for it this time. Okay, very good. So it looks like we're just stuck with animated force force until such time as I figure that out. These green blobs move randomly, and boy is that a disgusting animation for you. That is, you know, ah, okay, I'm scared of these things. I want to leave. I prefer the static non-animation. Be careful. This room has a floor mimic hidden inside the gravel. As you walk around on the gravel, you may see it moving. Pick up the secret eye to reveal the floor mimic and other secrets. All right, so, oh, I kind of see it there. Okay, yeah. It's just kind of moving around. It's like a teeth, almost. Okay. All right, yeah. So it's like an invisible teeth, basically, but it has like this little bump texture. Oh gosh, what am I doing? I want to lure him over here. There we go. <laughs> I can see you when you're under the floor, Mr. Teeth. Blocks can't be pushed over green pop-up walls. Try dropping and picking up the secret eye to see the secrets revealed. Uh, okay, so I can push it. Looks like I can push it here. And it'll tell me where fake walls are. Very good. So why would I why would I drop it and then pick it up again when I can already divine what it is attempting to tell me? And there are invisible walls right here. So we want to move around those as well. What is that? I don't even understand what that is. It's a pair of flippers? Oh, it hit a pair of flippers for me. How bizarre. Okay, well, anyway, we've got the chip and we're done with the lessons, so let's move on. God, those lessons take up so much time. They're not difficult, but they are annoying. Uh, it's just like they're cramming so much into these tutorials, but I like that you get a tutorial, you play a few levels. There's probably no real ideal way to do this. If they put the tutorials at the beginning of the game, you'd probably be playing like 40 tutorial levels this level is about the bathroom signs and this level is about the green walls and this level is about the cloning machines it'd just be it would just be a complete mess kind of like what i'm seeing here inlay by chuck somerville all right the very creator himself has deigned to visit a level upon us so let's see let's go ahead where can we push in uh there seems to be uh ah okay okay we can okay they're light enough to be pushed aside i see i see i get it not very difficult at all uh well except when it comes to this part um oh yeah oh yeah i can get out of here really easily by pushing this one individually <laughs> this is so much fun i know i'm wasting a lot of time but i just love getting all of them it's so satisfying. You click more than one. It's like one gate per level. There's more than one gate. Why not open them all up? It's not like they're keeping cheese behind them or something. Ice Dancing by C. Scott Davis. Let's, okay. So I get the ice boots. Ew, what's going on here? Not a lot of time to solve this level. But, okay. So if I go onto the ice... Okay, it looks okay, it looks like I don't have much of a choice. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. So I only have a little bit of time to move here. Okay, okay, I messed up there. Alright. Wow, that was really stupid, but getting these along the side first, that might be a good idea. Okay, I gotta really be careful and pay attention to when that thing is. Oh, man. And if you want the bonus points at the, up at the top, you end up cloning a ton of ice and probably getting yourself killed. Okay, I really need to cut it out. What am I doing here? This is really stupid. I should move down there instead of... I, my inclination is to move up whenever that happens. 
Okay, I can get these now. Bummer. Oh my gosh. Okay, there has to be a nice little easy breezy beautiful cover girl way to do this. Right? Okay. Alright. Let's just go this way. Oh yeah, this is a lot easier. Oh, yeah, and I'm not even going to bother with that bonus stuff up here. That's disgusting. Hey, I improved my score. An improvement of 60 points. It looks like I solved it a little faster than I did the last time I played it, probably back in 2015 when I first bought this game, and I was super excited about it. I don't know if you can see the congratulations window there, but I have improved my score just slightly, so a somewhat different number now shows up on the screen. Finished. Good work. Good job, us. Revelations. Oh my gosh. Getting a little bit apocalyptic here. So, okay, let's go ahead and... Let's take... Oh. Okay. Well, that was a quick reveal. So now we can push through here. Oh yeah, this is the machine right here. Alright, so how do we do this then? Um... Okay, so I can go through here. What is... Okay, so just, all right, all right. So let's go this way. We can, we can make some stuff going out this way. We only have a limited amount of time to do this. But that, that may be okay. If I can make floor around here. All right. Let's make some flora, and then we can get rid of the fauna. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, jokes. I got them. So now, as we push along, we can push through here. And let's let's get some ground going right here. Alright, if I push the button again, I will it... Okay, I don't want to chance it having one in... in oh, hey, very nice. I can uh, actually give myself... I'm only going to make one at a time. I don't want it to have one in reserve or something like that. That would be that would be a disaster of epic proportions. So I'm just gonna I am going to go for this flag. You know what? I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, I've earned it. So let's see. I assume flippers will not allow you to swim in bad diarrhea slime. So Okay, yeah. So I go here and then you know what? I can clear out a pretty big swath from this point. This is this is looking better and better all the time. So let's go get that. All right. Oh, I can't actually do that. Uh, is there a way to get that flag? I would assume there is. They wouldn't just put it there to be mean, would they? Maybe they would. Well, you know what? I I don't want to figure it out at this point. I'm a I'm a little bit of a sad panda about it now so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get things moving so that I can go to the exit I think this block should do it for me boom let's go in yowzer first try the revelation was that there was jpeg compressed slime everywhere that <laughs> that, that is certainly a texture of some kind or another let's keep going remember everything changes in the transmogrifier so we are oh <laughs> god okay so who is it all right so we go here what happens oh so ice changes dirt also changes to ice not just uh not just male to female but also ice to dirt and vice versa okay um let's go ahead then and have I made a mistake here by pushing this this way? No, I don't think so. How, I have seven chips left. Oh, there's stuff under the chips as well. Okay, so well, let's try to find those as best we can. All right, hopefully I did not. Uh, hopefully I've not made a mess of things by. Uh, Uh, there's another one. All right, very good. Three left. I think I may have blocked myself out of some of these. Uh, I think. Oh, there. Okay, there's only one left. One left only. Okay. I 
think it may be in a place that is not amenable to being found by. There, no, there it is. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was an interesting level for sure. Okay, that transmogrifier. So they teach you how to use the transmogrifier once, then they make it literally every tile on the floor. Seems legit. Globs by Scott Finney. Globs. Hopefully not those globs that we saw earlier that kind of moved along. The okay. Okay, I don't have any choice but to go here. So let's make permanent walls. All right. Okay, what have we got going here? Okay, we got fire boots. Probably should collect those. I have a feeling they're going to be useful. So, all right. Let's go ahead and move you down into here. All right. And then we'll move you to right here. And I can get the key right there. So next up is moving you down here. All right. That's an intuitive little puzzle. I appreciate that one. Okay. So now we just go up. Wow, that was super simple. Wow, there wasn't much to that one at all. That one was pretty point A to point B, very linear puzzle solving. That was, uh, all right, I'm down for it. Let's do one more today, why not? Let's go ahead and move on to level 35. Chips? Okay, are we going to see those floor mimics? I see, okay, there's four chips left. Bummer. Okay, something happened to me. Bummer. Something bad is going to keep happening. If I touch those chips, I have one bomb and I'm going to set it right here. Fake chips. Okay. Oh, okay. There are floor mimics everywhere. I was like, did I destroy some of them? But no, they were just covered in floor stuff. All right. So the floor mimics can sit on top of the chips. That's good to know. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting them to come after me. Okay. They seem to be crowding up in the corners here. All right. And boom. Okay. You won't get me today, Invisible Boogeyman, and neither will anybody else. We are going to stop there, and next time, keep on solving puzzles. I'd like to get to play as Melinda a little. Did I say that last time? <laughs>